What's up, peoples? Welcome to Nodge of All Trades. I am your host, Nodge. In this celebrity news bulletin, we will be talking about Superfly actor Kaylin Walker, who has been sentenced to 50 years in prison for quote unquote sexual assault. Walker was convicted in April of three counts of forcible rape, one count of assault to commit oral copulation, two counts of statutory rape, and two counts of rape by intoxication, according to the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office. He was acquitted on two counts of forcible rape and one count of sexual penetration by force, according to a spokesperson from the district attorney's office who added that Superior Court Judge Joseph Brendolino required Walker to register as a sex offender for the rest of his life. Walker, 27, appeared in the 2018 remake of the 1970s film Superfly and starred alongside Halle Berry and Daniel Craig in the 2017 drama Kings. He was arrested in Los Angeles in September 2018 and accused of a series of sexual assaults on four aspiring models who he contacted through social media and promised work opportunities, police said. Authorities said the allegations dated to 2016. Walker was arraigned a month later on nine felony sexual assault charges and was held on more than a million dollar dollars worth of bail before eventually being released. He was rearrested March 2019 when six new victims were added to the case and then released on reduced bond in November 2020. He went back into custody earlier this year after his April conviction. The district attorney's office said. Attorney Andrew Flyer said Walker's sentence is draconian and called the trial very unfair. Walker's defense team plans to appeal the sentence, Flyer said. Okay. Well, um, it just seems like that normal case of, you know, sliding in the DMs, you know, and to me, when they say inspiring models, it don't be the full catalog kind of models. It don't be what Tyra Banks be trying to find in, you know, a and it, it be more so the uh, quote-unquote video vixens for the most part. Um, when they say inspiring, um, that was kind of a segue because I didn't want to do a video about Tyra. So, <laughs> um... But yeah, um, it, <laughs> it's just one of those cases, it seems like, you know, he just trying to find him a girl, you know, them girls be trying to find a dude, you know, racks, 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 and how could it be forcible if, you know what I'm saying, I, like, I want to know more about the case, um, yeah, I just need I just need more info so I can fully give a more thorough opinion. But is all these uh, charges is extra charges just to say rape, like forcible pen, like <sighs> something ain't right with this. Something ain't right. Um, I feel like these bitches wanted it and then they got pity, just like normal. Um. This, I think this young man does need a retrial. And I'm sounding like I'm old. I'm only like two years older than man. But I'm just saying, like, every time I hear something like this, and then, or maybe something like they didn't get what they wanted out of it, it's, I'm telling you, women got the upper hand when it comes to this kind of mess. So nowadays, it's like, I know back then it'd be always like the man was guilty, but nowadays how things been going on almost every somewhat famous or, you know, any man that's in a certain position and women be trying to jockey to be the candy on the arm. It's just like nowadays the man ain't looking not so guilty at all. So it's just my take on it. Um like, share, subscribe, comment.
do you think he needs to get out of jail? Or do you think he needs to serve his time? Do you think he is actually guilty? Um, let me know your thoughts. Uh, and I probably, if some more info comes out, I'll do a part two. Y'all be breezy.